On September 9, 2023, Royal Caribbean's Vision of the Seas left Baltimore to head to the Bahamas. Originally, its heading was Bermuda, but due to a hurricane, its schedule was changed. On Wednesday, September 13th, a passenger on board the cruise ship suffered a massive heart attack, and the captain announced that the Coast Guard was going to be intercepting the ship off the coast of the Outer Banks to transfer the guest to a nearby hospital. The process started by clearing all of the upper decks. All right, so the latest announcement is that uh, they're going to be clearing all upper decks of the ship. So the pool area is now being evacuated and uh, all of the chairs are being uh, 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 picked up so that uh, uh, you know they can clear all of the decks up top here. So Once the upper decks were clear, the Coast Guard made their way to the port side of the ship so they could lower a member of their crew to assist with the evacuation. The ship was still moving pretty fast, so the Coast Guard had to match its speed. Once a member of the Coast Guard was on board the ship, they then lowered a stretcher that would carry the passenger off of the ship. They then prepped the members of the ship that would be transported off. Once everyone was prepared, the helicopter came back to the ship and lowered a line down. The line is to help guide the basket and stretcher up to the helicopter. The first person to be evacuated was a member of the Royal Caribbean medical staff. then the wife of the gentleman who suffered the heart attack. The wind or wash from the helicopter is very strong, so in order to bring the patient out, the helicopter had to leave the area. The Royal Caribbean medical staff then brought the patient out and set them out on the deck. The helicopter returned, and they were able to evacuate the gentleman from the ship. Once he was safely aboard the helicopter, the Coast Guard member on the ship raised up to the helicopter, and then they headed for shore. We're happy to note that the gentleman did make a full recovery once on shore. It's very lucky that the ship was originally diverted to the Bahamas. Because of this, the ship was very close to shore when the event happened. If we would have gone to Bermuda, we would have been hundreds of miles from shore. I have to say the U.S. Coast Guard along with the Royal Caribbean staff did an amazing job. Thanks so much for watching this video.